I don't know if you guys are on board with this Netflix documentary or have seen it yet called Dancing with the Devil, the 7 million TikTok cult. Um, wow, super interesting and so triggering for somebody that's come from a cult, how similar they are, even though one's about dance and one's about religion. Hang on, they're both about religion. Um, in the way that they interact with their families, but keep an absolute reality apart. Like, and, and I want to show you how, how, how similar they are. They call their leader the man of God in this documentary in the same way that the brethren do call their leader the man of God. And that's Bruce Hales, the, the current leader of the cult that I escaped. Um, they call him the man of God as well. And they revere everything he says. Everything has to get approval. I noticed the way that um, the girl that was in the cult had to get approval to go to her um, grandpa's funeral. Had to get... There's so much that was so similar. And I was just like, how is this possible? Uh, this is like real life. This is brainwashing um, in a very sort of seamlessly integrated way into modern day society. Like something as simple as TikTok dance. And the scene where the pa family like took to Instagram live, I think, and TikTok live was so real and, and triggering in the sense that it was so familiar. I was like the frustration, the sheer frustration of not breaking through to what everyone you know, it seems to, or it seems to appear to be a normal life is actually far more insipid. And you have something very similar when I took to TikTok the first time to share about how I used to reach out to my mom and I would only ever get back a generic thank you. And when somebody, one of you guys said, why don't you ask her out for a coffee? Cause nobody was believing me and I did. And you know, like this is, this is over a year ago now. Um, and the response, there's no response. Like she had to get approval and she would have had to get approval and then obviously that would have been denied because this man controls everybody within the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church cult. The most refreshing part, I guess, watching this documentary the, uh, the, was how it came apart by cancel culture. And I honestly believe that that will be, like social media and, and awareness will be the end of this cult, the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church. And who knows, one day my family might actually walk free from his grasp.